don't you? <laughs> Repartee. Vigorous. Yes. That's my Yiddish movie. <laughs> Good Tuesday morning, guys. My name is Jerry Miller, and welcome to What's Barking Local. Thank you kindly for joining us, a show that spotlights everything positive in the Central Virginia animal community, presented by Animal Connection, located in Ix Park, 22 years. We're working on it. Around the corner <laughs> for one of our favorite, if not our most favorite, retail business on the planet. Patty Zeller oh, is the retailista behind Animal Connection. And if you have success in business and retail for nearly 22 years, you're doing something right. And what she's doing is putting people and animals first and servicing them with A plus, A plus connections. Judah Woodcarra is our director. Let's go to the two shot and let's welcome Patty Zeller to the show. My friend. Oh, hi. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well. Good. Did you have a good weekend? I enjoyed a rainy weekend, quite frankly. I mean, it's, it makes you stay home, get things done, take naps, watch football. You know, I loved it. It was great. It was an A-plus weekend indeed. Animal yes. Connection, guys, is killing it. And we're entering the fourth quarter, her truly busy time with Christmas around the corner. My friend, where would you like to begin today? I would imagine it's Halloween. Oh, man. We are doing a big show and tell today. This is our Halloween product preview and event preview so y'all sit back and get your notepads make make your shopping lists if you care to uh, we're going to show some of the amazing things that we have we have got the coolest collection of halloween everything that we've ever had so let's jump in you got it Judy right. wick is ready to rock and roll Patty. yeah so he's going to show some uh group pictures and arrangements and then some individual things but i'm telling you what these squeaky toys chew toys all these different things that are up here uh, everything from uh, pumpkins to little candy corn toys to big frankensteins little frankensteins i mean there is truly something for all sizes of dogs and cats we have we have halloween for kitties too so there's a lot to take in, and you're, you know, just come to Animal Connection, just you know, try them out. They're all online right now. I think there's maybe three things that are not online, so you can go to animalconnectionva.com, look under the collections, and you'll see Halloween, and you can get an up close and personal with them. You know, make an order, hopefully, please, because <laughs> we got a lot of it. We we need to move it. Um, some fun things to note especially in these pictures, is you're going to see a, a picture that says, like, Pup-Tarts. Pup-Tarts. Dog stoppers. I mean, these are, you know, parody treats. I mean, the, the treats in them are really healthy and really good. You know, little candy bars that look like Snickers or Butterfingers. So all of these are healthy dog treats. But what a fun thing to give away, like when the kids come trick-or-treating and they have their dog walking with them, to give something for the dogs, too. There are so many cool things like that. Um, Avon says can't wait. Patty's the best shopper <laughs> and is on point with animals and what we need. Yeah. And that comes Thank you. That, that says a lot coming from her closet and it Coco's does. closet. She's got an extremely good closet. I can't wait to see what they're going to wear on Halloween. I know it's going to be wonderful. Um, What's the best costume you have in store? In store? We don't, you know, we don't do that many, sell that many costumes. Okay. Because, uh, you know, it's really hard to guess what's on trend in what sizes? I mean, it, I mean, I would have like a hundred different costumes, and it, you know, that's a lot of stock that I, I really don't want to do. But what we do have is we have some really great collars, bow ties, um, these really cool pumpkin T-shirts that are fun for, especially right now when it's a little bit cool outside. And then the bandanas, you know, Frank Dana's, frankly fetching. They're coming in. I love Miriam's selection this year because most of them are glow-in-the-dark bandanas. I mean, all the fabrics that you see in the picture, they glow-in-the-dark. Awesome. I know. I mean, everything from Ouija boards to, to you know, Wiccan or Occult or 
treat, tricks for treat, or some of them say boo y'all, you know, just fun stuff like that. We're, we have really got a great collection of bandanas. I love it. Yeah. I love it, Judah. Keep rotating the photos here. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. She said it's going to be a hoot. She's going to come visit you oh, yeah. uh, in the store. Jon Snow, welcome to the broadcast <laughs> building. Chesney, hello, my friend. Yeah. Animal Connection in Ix Park, owned by Patty Zeller. Yeah. We, we put all the bakery cookies in the case this week. So that was my labor of love last week, is decorating about eight dozen cookies of different kinds. So you'll see some of them. I, I made um, a, a boo box. Boo box. Uh, yeah, you can buy the cookies individually, or uh, you can buy them in a group and a box. But you'll see the, the these are the big bones that say boo, or they might say eek, you know, something like that. <laughs> The monsters, I, the, the green monsters are my favorite, I think, this year. And then we've got a happy little skeleton dog and then a, the spooky dog house. I mean, we've got about eight or nine different kinds. There's going to be cupcakes uh, with little bats and ghosts and things on them. I like the ghosts, too. They're, they're probably my most fun thing to decorate. They're adorable. Well, I it, mean, they're adorable. If you mess up, it's a ghost. I mean, what? it can... They don't have to be consistent. <laughs> that's the, that's is, the ghost. Yeah. That's brilliant. I, yeah. And so thank goodness. I mean, I'm not an expert yet, but I'm learning. <laughs> oh, you look like you're an expert to me. From a bakery um, standpoint, which holiday is the most fun to bake and decorate? Oh. This one's got to be up there. I like all of them. Yeah? I mean, doing that one in Christmas, yeah, I like, but I like all of them. You know, each one has got its own challenge. You know, just coming up with something new and different and super fun that people are going to love. So, but yeah, I like... I like our Halloween collection this year. They're, they're online already. You can buy them individually. Um, if you buy them individually, you know, we can package them up in little trick-or-treat bags for you guys you know, with some other maybe loose little small treats. We'll have those next week. Um, and then I put them together in uh, the Boo Box. So it's a really neat halloween theme box and it comes in four different colors on the outside of the box and so you can get a collection of these cookies for 19.99 that's a deal that's a steal if you're buying them individually it would be a little bit more but we're going to make a little bundle deal for you guys so 19.99 for the box of the cookies um the other thing is the spooky boneyard I love the spooky <laughs> boneyard. So that's one of the specials we're going to have at our Halloween event on October 29th, which we'll get to later. But a visit to the spooky boneyard, there's going to be some deals like buy two, get one free, buy three, get a fourth free, you know, different th deals like that. But the, the spooky boneyard is fun. But we put together a crazy box of our favorite things. And you can see there everything from turkey feet, chicken necks, duck heads. Pig snoots. I mean, the turkey feet are just outrageous. Um, but those things are in the spooky boneyard box. And that is $29.99. Oh, my gosh. Packed Judah, and ready. That is a deal. It is. I mean, that's like, yeah, that's a very, that's a very discounted deal for the chews. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Folks, look something at this on everybody. screen. <laughs> this literally is something for everyone here. But yeah, great for a gift, you know. What great, do you come yeah. up, how do you get the ideas of what to include? I just look and say what would look crazy in there, and I just pick the craziest looking stuff off the table. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the duck head is, is probably the funniest thing. I, I love how he's get, kind of giving you the side eye. <laughs> you know, that's really bad. The side eye <laughs> is, is awesome. <laughs> but, you know, he's got a little suspicion about him. <laughs> you know what I'm super pumped about? What's that? The costume contest. Oh, man. I think Conrad and I are going to be the Charmin Bears. <laughs> oh, really? That's a brilliant idea. Have you seen that? You know, when they're little and they're... Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're looking for bear costumes. I think we're going to be the Charmin Bears. Charmin Bears. Judah, <laughs> what are you and Liza going to be? I'm curious of what uh, he's going to dress up as. Um, our son is going to be Spider-Man. There you go. So I got to find, and maybe Judah can help with this idea, what I'm going to be, if our son's going to be Spider-Man, and what the missus is going to be. You know Marvel inside and out, and superheroes oh, yeah. inside and out. Last year we were Batman, Robin, and Catwoman. Oh, yeah. We dressed up Max, our German Shepherd, as Bat-Dog. There you go. Um, so Char Bears for Patty. Char Bears. And the Captain. Yeah, Maybe. We're working on it. How about um, a costume contest for dolls? Oh, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's, let's talk about the Halloween event. It's going to be Saturday, October the 29th. Let, let me tell you, folks, 
even during COVID, this was a huge event. I, I can tell you last year when we were coming out of COVID, we had around 100 dogs in this costume contest. So competition is fierce. You're going to want to start planning your costumes now. And the reason you want to do that, too, is we do prizes pretty big. There's going to be over $500 worth of prizes. There's going to be prizes for kids in costumes and dogs in costume. Um, you're going to register at Animal Connection in front of the patio from 9 till 1030. At 11 o'clock, we're going to have a parade through the farmer's market field over at Ix, and then we're going to award... Um, these amazing prizes uh, right after that at 11:30. And while that's going on in the store, we're going to have the spooky boneyard sale. Uh, we've got some spirited games, which I'm not going to tell you what they are yet, but they involved. Uh, I know that there is a Ghostbusters game that's going to be super, super fun. Uh, treats for chicks. You're going to have goodie bags. I mean, we're going to go all out for Halloween. Oh, and the best part is we're, it's also called Halloween Dog Fest because there is an element of Dog Fest coming back. We're going to have rescue groups, plural, Ooh. on the patio. You've lined them up? What's up? You've lined them up already? We've lined up several of them. So the SBCA is definitely going to be here. Green Dogs Unleashed is going to be joining us. Uh, potentially the Sheltie Rescue of Virginia. Um, we're waiting to hear from Howes and Dogs Deserve Better. And we have also issued an invitation to Fluvanna SBCA. So invitations have been issued. Uh, two are confirmed, but you know, there's, there's going to be room for all of them on the patio. And it's just a little bit of awareness, you know, let people see. Oh, and Caring for Creatures, they're also invited. So um, you know, maybe we can update on that next week. So, but, but definitely the SVCA, definitely Green Dogs Unleashed, so far. I love it, Patty. I yeah. love the um, work hard, play hard mentality. I love the fact that you galvanize the community through positive community events. And I love the mm -hmm. fact that you are doing this while running a business positively in the black and hiring people. You're hiring. <laughs> we are, we are looking for some retail help. You know, Christmas is coming. But even with, without Christmas coming, you know, we're just really, really busy. And the good news is, you know, we believe in, in hiring and promoting from within. And so in our grooming department, we have, of course, Carol, the amazing Carol uh, Heller. Uh, Jesse, who has been training underneath her for the last two years, he's ready to fly. I mean, he's ready to almost go solo. So he'll be taking clients um, he's working on that now. And then Carol's son is working with us, Kyle. Many of you have met him up front. He's very cheerful and happy. People love him. Dogs love him. I mean, we just love having him here. But, you know, his aspirations are to be a groomer just like his mom. And so we're, we're starting his training. I mean, well, training. I mean, he's been working with dogs since he, he could walk. So, I mean, he knows a whole lot of stuff already. But we're going to work on getting him certified, so we'll have three groomers on the floor at Animal Connection. So with that said, you know, we are going to need more retail help because Kyle also floats between grooming and retail, so we're going to need a little more help. So if you think it's fun to play with dogs all day long, which it is, you know, just give us a holler, you know. Wild Bill yeah. McChesney in the city of Charlottesville is asking um, about the Louisa County Humane Society mm -hmm. and wants to put them on your radar as a potential uh -huh. benefactor or partner for you. We could sure talk about it. You know, maybe, Bill, you could text me the name of the person to contact. Yeah, so there is. you go. There you go. We're making yeah. a connection right here on What's Barking Local, presented by Animal Connections. Speaking <laughs> of connections, Bill, give us a mm. contact here, and we'll yeah. relay it live on air to Patty Z. Awesome. That would be great. So yeah. you're all about helping as many as possible. I know. We, you know, we have a great patio in front of the store. I mean, it's got a fountain, which also doubles as a fire pit. It's got a, a very big wet bar. It's got a grill. It's got covered awnings. I mean, it is a really nice setup. So... Uh, during Saturdays on farmer's market days, we get a ton of traffic. That is a perfect time for a rescue group to come and set up their tables underneath our awnings and you know, let people find out what they're all about. So you know, we do have a couple Saturdays a month that are committed already, but you know, we do have openings. So you know, give us a holler. You know, we're all about pledging. She wants to help helping. everyone, right. as many people as possible. That's what we're about. You've become the water cooler of everything positive oh. <laughs> in the animal community. I mean, wow. especially with your store. How about the Kerrig? We're probably the Kerrig. The Kerrig? We're the Kerrig. The I coffee guess. pot? 
The happy hour. The espresso spot. machine of the, the espresso of the single, machine, right? Because we like we like the dark, diner. We like dark coffee, so yeah, these, yeah. You're the, the barista. Uh, the promenade <laughs> what? of everything. The promenade. The barking barista. The barking barista. <laughs> right. I love it. It's like literally like where where the community comes to figure out what to do. Yeah. That's we what do. it's about. We do. Uh, gosh, and there's just so much coming up. I mean, between. You know, someone was asking me, do we have a calendar? Yes, we are starting a calendar. When you come into our store, we have everything posted, and we, we're trying as hard as we can to get everything online and on social. But, you know, Thanksgiving's coming. We've got events all weekend long. You know, we prefer not to call it Small Biz Saturday. We prefer to call it Local Business Saturday. So we're doing that. Uh, all of our Christmas events are planned. Um, Everything from Ugly Sweater Saturday, photos with Elf, photos with Santa. Santa Fun Run, hopefully. I haven't heard from Brian Harris yet. Maybe he's listening and can update on, us, um, update on that. But that's probably one of our favorite events. That is one of our favorite events. Yeah. We're going to be doing... Hundreds of Santas running on the downtown mall. Oh, my God. It's so much fun. It's awesome. Yeah. We're going to get photos with Adrian Eichner. We're going to do holiday photos the weekend before Thanksgiving. Uh, one of those weekends. I forget which. I'll... I'll We'll update on that next week. But I got, a, I got a lot of dates going on in this little brain right now. Are you as busy <laughs> as you've ever been? You know, I think we're always busy. September, October, November, December. I mean, not only with increasing business, which is great. Thank you very much. But, you know, between birthdays and holidays, and then you have to realize in, in retail, everything that we ordered for Christmas in March started dropping in two weeks ago. So now I've got, I've got stacks of boxes everywhere of just really cool stuff that you're, you guys are just going to love it. I mean, we have, if you like what you see during Halloween, you're going to love what you see at Christmas. Is there That's a respite what, between Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas? Or is it now just 1,000 miles an hour till New Year's? It, there's, no, there's no break until maybe the second week in January now. Sorry, Conrad. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> and, you know, knows. we'll highlight Conrad. Conrad's right there working <laughs> alongside Patty and the team at Animal Connection, he making is. positive things happen. He is. He's, he's the rock. <laughs> How do you yeah. like uh, the 1015 slot? I like this. I right. mean, I, I left my coffee in the car, so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of without it. But, yeah, I like it. It's so nice. It's, ni it's a nice way to wake up. Nice way to wake up, on. energize, get the news out. Oh, yeah. So, can we talk about another event that's oh, coming up? Oh, absolutely. Let's talk about the Brewer's Ball. Ooh. I love this event. Um, this is uh, Thursday, October 13th. It's going to be at Ix. It funds the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, which is amazing. The music is Disco Risque, Matt Johnson, and Trick Dog. Well, of course, we like it. Um, so, and what it does, I'm just going to read this. Uh, the Charlottesville Brewer's Ball. The finest honorees are recognized here. Young professionals, community leaders, local restaurants and craft beverage producers come together for an evening of beer, food, music, and revelry to help provide those living with cystic fibrosis the opportunity to lead full productive lives. One of the reasons I like this, other than at the event, is going to be 25 local craft brewers, distilleries, wineries, restaurants, Silent and live auction items. We're we're doing several silent auction items, but we're gonna we're gonna honor Carrie Rock. So oh, what they do Carrie. at this event and his wife Colleen, Carrie Rock, right here. So um, what they do at this event is they choose people that have really done a lot for the community. And Carrie Rock, uh, nonprofit Do Good Seville. Uh, he works really hard to help with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, and so. I'm going to read this part. In receiving this distinction, Carrie is one of nine Charlottesville area young professionals being recognized for their leadership, professional successes, and philanthropic spirit. These young men and women have committed to join in the fight to treat and ultimately cure cystic fibrosis, a rare life-threatening genetic disease affecting more than 33,000 Amer Americans. Um, the honorees commit to raising as much as possible with a minimum goal of $3,000 to support the mission of the CF Foundation. And these guys are being recognized at the Brewer's Ball at X. So, guys, this is a great event. It's going to be so much fun. 75 bucks buys you a ticket. You get um, 
an event tasting cup to, to visit all these different breweries, unlimited food and beverage, access to the live and silent auctions, and, you know, Disco Risque, I would go just for that. Disco Risque you know, is awesome. It's really fun. But, you know, I wanted to give Carrie a shout out and, you know, su support this event if you can. If, if you can't uh, make it, if you can't, you know, if you got five bucks, go to the Brewer's Ball, make it a little donation. But, you know, I think this is a really important event and I think it's really important that they're honoring people that have given so much back to the community. Well said. Good stuff. Well said. Kerry Rock, yeah. we love you. He joined yeah. us on What's Barking and Colleen last week. And Colleen, yeah. you guys are A-plus people. Yeah. Um, Patty's another A-plus person. I would think Patty may be in the mix for a potential honoree situation next year hmm. with all the work that you've been doing. <laughs> well, it's, it's for people. You have to do the fundraising for CF. Absolutely. So, yeah. um, well, I'll tell you what. What is it um, about working in this community and seeing the community rally around your endeavors that you love the most? I just like it that people can find common ground with, by giving back. I think that's a really neat thing. I mean, it doesn't matter where you are, where you're from, you know, who your grandparents are, whatever. You can find common ground and do something positive to support a cause that you believe in. I mean, I work with Do Good Seville and, and help with their, their monthly bingo nights, and we're raising money uh, for different foundations even every month. In fact, last week, oh my gosh, the air in the pouring rain, you know, we're at the uh, random row, playing bingo, having a blast. The place is packed. And the money was going back to the Charlottesville Free Clinic. Um, I do... Did you win? What's that? Did you win? We did not. I mean, 10 rounds, we were close. But man, there, it is cutthroat bingo. It's really fun. How about this? Yeah. Um, I would love to hear you hear from you on this topic. Supporting oh. local businesses more than ever. We've seen Anna's announce their closing. Yeah. After 46 years mm -hmm. on Maury Avenue. Yeah. The ladies of Anna's are as local as local gets. I'll say. We've seen College Inn close on the UVA corner. Yeah. I mean, we're talking 60 plus years. Yeah. Okay supporting the ones that we want to see make it through these tough times, even if it means paying potentially a little more than what you can find online and how critically important it is now more than ever. Well, I, I definitely agree with that. I mean, as far as supporting local and buying local when you can, I mean, a lot of people don't realize that when they see something online, a lot of times that um, a local retailer maybe can get that for you or something similar to that for you. I mean, you know, give them the opportunity to say, hey, I saw this online. Do you, do you have anything like that? Or can, is there any way I can buy it through you? Um, I know that as far as for Animal Connection, um, you know, we can't stock every pet food brand out there. You know, I just don't have that big of a store, but we have access to it four different times a week. We have four different deliveries a week, so I can pretty much get any brand we want we deliver for free. Um, you know, it costs no nothing extra to, to get it shipped to our store and then we take it to you. So, you know, give us a chance. You know, I know a lot of other businesses are like that too. You know, give your local guys a chance before you click that button. I mean, we have buttons too that you can click, right? So, your website's fantastic. And speaking of the website, okay. we may see some Christmas opportunities online? Christmas is, is mostly up. Um, I think I've got about three-fourths of the Christmas products on there. And then my next thing is I do need to bake the cookies and the offerings that you're going to see. There's going to be some Thanksgiving cookies. There's going to be some Thanksgiving boxes that have, oh, like a little dog safe Chris, uh, Thanksgiving meal that they can have and some toys and pumpkin pie for dogs, you know, those kind of fun things. So that's what we really like doing is something unique that you can't get anywhere else. I love it. I um, absolutely love it. I love what you stand for. Um, Meg Shrum is the contact at the Louisa Humane Society. Awesome. I will pass that along to you, Wild Bill. Thank you for putting this thank on our radar. Thank you so much. Right. Um, this is what we're all about here, utilizing social media for the good. Patty, a message to the community um, as we head into the busiest time of year now until after New Year's seems to be a whirlwind for so many of us. It really is. Man, yeah, just, just keep it local as much as you can and just keep your feet on the ground, people. You know, just it's, it's hard with so many things happening that your, your mind just goes berserk. But just, you know, just do something every day that just grounds you. 
and just brings you back to center and just remember, you know, remember what it's all about. Danny O'Day, welcome to the program. We love you, DOD. Um, support the businesses that you want to see make it through this, guys. And yeah. the connection is one of the best of the best. Next Tuesday at 10, 15 a.m., give us a snapshot. Yes, next Tuesday we're probably going to go into more detail about Halloween. I'll probably give you guys a rundown of all the fall and maybe a sneak peek into Christmas. And then we'll, we're going to have Emily Sweckler with the SPCA with right. us. So we're going to have some, definitely have some dogs and cats to talk about and some upcoming events with those guys. So, yeah, it'll be a big show, as always. <laughs> always a big show. Judah Wickhauer is back in the saddle as the director. Patty Zeller is the owner of Animal Connection and Ix Park. Support Patty Zeller. Support the merchants at Ix Park. Keep the businesses we want to see alive in action by supporting them in fourth quarter of this year, the most important quarter for so many of them. Patty Zeller, another fantastic program from you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. A pleasure. So, thanks, Judah. It is truly our pleasure, guys. <laughs> What's Barking Local is presented by Animal Connection. My name is Jerry Miller for Patty Zeller and Judah Wickhauer. Remember, bark local, <laughs> shop local and support local. Yay. Thank you kindly for joining us. <laughs> we'll see you with the I Love Seville show in one hour and 15 minutes. Take care, everybody. <laughs>